Hi, my name is Tori. I'm going to get ready for work and you guys are going to watch me do it. So first, I'm putting my hair up in this ponytail because I cannot do my makeup with my hair in my face. That's just disgusting. So I always start out with this retinol cream. This one was from Walmart. It was like $5. I know that they have one that's like $20, but we don't do that because that's like a lot to spend on cream, I feel like. And I'm like one of those people that will buy stuff that I don't like need. Not the stuff that I do need. Like for example, I have giant holes in my gym shoes and I still wear them. So I put that on my face and then I use this ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer. I'm in the shade Medium Dark 16N and I like love this stuff so I go like this and put it on here and then I'm using this brush it's from Target I think it's a Sonia Kashik brush it's super old though and like really gross I've had it for a while and I love how I'm doing this with no mirror in front of me so I hope it looks good so I'm blending this all together all down my face and all down my neck because this is like kind of dark for me right now I haven't been able to self tan as much so that's why honestly and I really don't care about my makeup and hair as much and it's not like it's just because I don't know how to do my makeup like super good like I try and do it really good like how like you know makeup artists do and it doesn't work out for me ever Now that this is down my face, I need to look at this. This is my mirror that I'm using. <laughs> okay, so I have this all blended in. So I really like this because it's like not that much coverage, but it's not like super filling in your pores. So it's like this. I really like that. So now I use this palette. It's Profusion Mauve's 10 shade palette. I think this is from Target. My friends got it for me for Christmas, but I really like this a lot. Like it's actually a really good eyeshadow and I use it every single day. So I use this pink shimmery shade. It's like almost gone. And then I'm just going to put it on like this. And I go like that. And put it on both eyes obviously we're not going to put it on just one eye and then now I'm going to go in with the shades kindly and explode so it's a little bit darker and I do this and then I just put that in my crease just because I do like a darker crease um I really want to start experimenting with other eyeshadows but I just like don't know what palettes to get and if I'll like them because I like always buy them not always I have a couple palettes but I never really use them I have a lot of my palettes from like high school that's really gross actually okay so I have this pretty much on okay so now I have it all on I take this and I just go like this under my eye just to add a little bit of color with that darker one and then I'm going to take this opal. It's like the really light shade. And I just put this on here. Like in the crease of it. Or not the crease. I don't know. The crease or the corner. What? I'm not a makeup person at all. Okay. My eyes are done. That literally took like two minutes. This is what I mean. My makeup routine is not it. Not it. <laughs> So now I use this Colossal Maybelline mascara. I definitely need a new one. I've had this for so long. So long. It's so bad. But I love these mascaras. Like, I cannot spend money on a expensive mascara because it does not work for me ever. These ones work so good. So I just put this on. Oh god. I 
have a huge clump on here, that's amazing. So I go like this and do that a lot. Okay, so my mascara does not always turn out super good. It always turns out super clumpy. I don't know why I really like it with the clumps. I feel like this is definitely like back in like middle school whenever you would see those girls and they would have super clumpy eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, eyelashes. And I feel like I am that girl. Like look, oh gosh. Okay. And now I'm gonna do the other eye. So this is gonna be really hard because I can't. So I just do that and put it on. I know I do wear a mask at work, but <laughs> I just like to do my makeup because Yes, I know I do wear a mask at work, but it makes me feel good to have my makeup on sometimes. And, I mean, I take it off whenever I, like, go home and I'm around other people that I know. And I'm always around, so it's not that big of a deal. Like, for me to do my makeup, I guess. I don't know. So now I have this on. Am I like blocking this? Okay. Now I have my mascara on. And you have to do the bottom lashes. I mean, if you don't do the bottom lashes, like, I feel like that definitely changes everything. If you do your bottom eyelashes with mascara. Oh, I love it. And a lot of people have been wanting to know where I work. I do work at a clothing store. That is what I will say. I mean, I guess I could tell you. I just get creeped out because <sighs> there's a lot of like creepy people in this world, like sex traffickers, and I have a really big fear of that, guys. Like it's actually a really big fear of mine to get sex trafficked or get kidnapped. And I've had a lot of weird, like, experiences with people. Okay, I'm trying to put this on. It's so hard to put on bottom mascara. I fucking suck at this shit. This, like, makes me sad that I've been doing my makeup like this since probably like sixth or seventh grade and I have not learned anything or progressed in any way. This is literally how to do makeup for dummies. Okay. So now my mascara is on. Notice I do not put powder on with this um, tinted moisturizer like right after because you don't really need it as much. I feel like because it's like less coverage so then because I do get glitter on here I go like this and just kind of pat in the glitter in my face I guess it like I mean it probably doesn't do anything but I just like pat it in I feel like it does do something so then I take this palette this is the Park Avenue Princess Tarte like bronzing contour palette I think I got this as a present years ago and I still use it so I use this enhance and I just put this under my eyes like this, just to kind of like set it and not have the mascara drip under my eyes because I hate that so much. Like, do you ever see that on people whenever their mascara is down here? That used to happen to me all the time. And I think it's because I don't put this powder on, but now I have been. So now I take Princess Cut and Angle and I just like mix them like this and put it on my face. Now it's on there and then I will go and I'll do it on the top part of my head just because I feel like that kind of like contours it. I swear I like saw someone do this somewhere. I mean yeah sometimes I think mine turns out more orange. Uh, 
but again we are not a professional makeup artist at all and we have no idea how to do any sort of makeup so and I literally just blend this all over my neck oh my gosh this is so bad I put it on my nose and try and contour it a little bit and then I just do like the same I like take this light palette color and do this okay that's good so I have my bronzer on and everything oh I do this <laughs> So for my eyebrows, I take the crown color in this Park Princess Avenue palette, the dark one, and I go like this with this brush from the Naked 3 palette, and I do this, and I just put this on here. Oh my gosh. So this is what I do. Oh god, that was really dark. I do this just to like kind of make my them like look a little bit better. I don't know. now highlight so this is my highlighter this is the wet and wild mega glow highlighting powder the lid fell off but it looks like this it's really pretty and then i take it with this brush and i go like that let me open up my mirror and do this and then i just take it again and put it on this and put it on here and i do that I also put a little bit here and that is it and then I will take where's my contour one okay I'll take this one and I'll just kind of like pat it in a little bit just because I like it to be more blended and that's it and then so that's my makeup